Hi, I've been talking a long time about starting a YouTube channel and you know, finally creating some content and it's gone on far too long. I've honestly been talking about and thinking about it for almost a year now uh, and it's time to just put something out there. Uh, this is going to be a very rough vlog so anyone who's watching can know what to expect. It's not going to be very edited uh, as I get more used to the content um, that I'm putting out there. I'm going to hopefully refine these videos more. Um, so anyone who's interested can just watch this. I'm not really intending anyone to watch it. It's just, just something really freeing about creating a video that none of your friends will see. It's just something for uh, an audience of strangers. Um, like it or love it. Uh, yeah, so I, today I just wanted to talk about uh, sustainability and minimalism. So uh, I'm uh, a software developer. I live in Chicago, um, late 20s, 28. Uh, and I live in a studio, uh, and it's a very nice studio. Um, very small, actually. And a year ago, I moved down here from the suburbs, from my parents' home. It's much larger than this. And I uh, brought everything. You know, sometimes when you move to a new place, you just bring, you know, a suitcase that you need. Um, but, you know, we were cleaning out the house, and so I took everything, including everything my parents had uh, in that house, uh, pretty much, and all of my stuff since I was a kid. Um, and now it's all in this tiny, you know, 400-square-foot studio. Um, and I apologize, like, I usually wear glasses, but, you know, they're kind of, it's kind of hot. Um, so, uh, my goal for the last year or so has been uh, trying to reduce how much stuff I have. I'm already, my friends already call me a minimalist because, you know, I don't have a ton of furniture. Um, I don't have, you know, a ton of stuff. Um, but especially in a 400 square foot studio, it feels like, uh, the minute you have just a little bit more extra stuff or a little bit of disarray, it really adds up. Let me just show you really quickly. Um, I uh, I was just trying to pack for a trip I have, um, and as you can see, right away, um, I have you know stuff all over the floor. Um, it's it's really a mess. Uh, over here, I'm working on this painting. Um, as you can see, here we go. And hopefully you were able to see that. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed about this mess. Um, but I'm going to try to be pretty consistent, give you updates maybe like every week, uh, just to see how I go from having all of this stuff, you know, table, furniture, bed, uh, that I don't use pretty much 99% of the time. It's ridiculous. I carry all this stuff. I bitch and moan about having it and moving it, and I, I literally never touch it. Um, so can we go down to having this stuff to having literally the things I use every day um, plus a few, very few, uh, you know, keepsakes um, or special occasion things like nice clothes, a suit. Um, and... Hopefully my journey, my dream would be my journey uh, inspires you to follow your own dream of ha having less stuff and showing you that it is possible to cut down and it is a lot freeing. I, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very stressed out about having all this stuff all the time. I come home, I realize I know I'm so close to having a huge mess everywhere and you know, really feeling like I'm tripping over my stuff. I can't find anything. Um, let me try to show you a better view. <sighs> yeah, my closet isn't too bad. Um, I have, you know, not <laughs> my girlfriend makes fun of me for having, uh, like no clothes. Um, I have, you know, a few shirts. Honestly, I, I, these are all hand-me-downs. <laughs> my son gave me all these shirts he doesn't use anymore. Um, but they're, and they're really quick, good quality shirts. Uh, I just literally... I uh, wear them once in a while because I have a more of a relaxed work environment. Um, so I wear the same shirt like every week. I uh, wash it once a week, obviously. 
and I, I have all of these, you know, one of these like dance pants I bought once. It's ridiculous. If anyone wants it, it's like five bucks. I'll sell it. Um, you know, uh, laundry baskets, some old costumes. It's, it's stuff that I feel like you know could be kind of useful. Uh, like an iron once in a while um and so i'm holding on to it but there's a lot of stuff too that i literally don't use like all of these towels i don't know why my parents got all these towels i didn't feel good about just throwing it away because they're barely used they're nice towels <laughs> but i literally don't use it i love my solution I, I what i do get rid of stuff i donate a lot um but a lot of stuff is kind of old so i don't just throw it away um i use it in different purposes what I'm getting to is I tear it up and use it as cleaning rags. Um, but there's only so many cleaning rags you can use a day. So it's going a bit slow. You know, I my essentials right here. I um, won't bore you with every single detail, but you know, I these are pretty much essential. Just some random toiletries down here. <sighs> Soaps. I have a thing full I have a lot of books. I don't have that many books, but I have a few. I'm not throwing those away. Um, you know, some medical supplies, so, like I have a blow dryer, my mom got this blow dryer, I don't even use a blow dryer, but I have it, I just won't throw it away, I was going to sell it maybe, um, you know, an old lamp, uh, yeah, just so many random little things that I feel like, oh, maybe I'll use this one day, and I'm just trying to, I know the um, bold thing to do is to purge, just to put it all in a big sack, throw it away, but I we all know it's hard because we think, oh, I'm, there's a little bit of memory to that. Or, oh, I might actually need that, you know, when I move to a bigger place. Um, so, Mike, you know, honestly, I'm not probably going to move for another year. I, I'm here for another uh, almost a year on my lease. So, and I don't want to just, I feel it's wasteful to just throw it away or donate it and then try to buy it again when I need it. Um, I probably would feel a lot better in a way. Um, but since I, it's kind of out of sight, out of mind, where it's in storage, um, I don't feel like the benefit of just doing that in a big purge would make me feel so much better that I'm like, okay, that was totally worth it and not feel any regrets. Like, yeah, wait, I kind of needed that. Or why did I just get rid of it? I kind of want it back. Honestly, in my experience, though, when I get rid of stuff like, oh, I got rid of this, some old clothes, some old suits, um, <laughs> I think about it once in a while, like, oh, maybe I could have used that suit. Oh, wait, I donated it. But 99% of the time, like, you know what? I really didn't need it. After all, I can just wear something else. Um, so it is kind of silly to be like, yeah, I'm going to regret. Because in, in America, there are just so many things. And you can always get so many things secondhand. I have a few secondhand shops near me. It's so easy to get something uh, that you need, like a lamp, um, for a few bucks that it if you really are stressed out, like I'm saying to myself, if I am that stressed out, I probably should just donate it uh, this, you know, like today, this weekend. Um, and I, work, I stress out about it, you know. Um, of course, there are things that donation centers probably won't accept, like, you know, old towels or something like that. So those do have to be uh, maybe torn into cleaning rags. Um, and all these art supplies. I have a bunch of art supplies. All artworks. I can't just throw them away. I have all these boxes. I think they have art supplies in them. Um, I honestly, yeah, don't really think you know, this bag's full of art supplies. Just running away. It doesn't, like, colored pencils. They, they don't, I have a lot of colored pencils. I have, like, maybe 50 colored pencils. They don't take up that much space, but it takes a long time to get, to use the end of them. Uh, it's pretty silly. But uh, that's me. So I, I'm sure everyone else, they have their own hang-ups. They're like, oh, I can't get rid of this. I have a hard time letting go. You know, I know Mary Kondo is a big advocate of things, um, you know, letting go and thinking, oh, I'm letting go of this. I'm not going to just make the same mistake again and turn around the next day and buy it again. Um, so that's where I'm at. Um, hopefully, you know, in another week or another month, next time I make a video, uh, you'll be able to see I'll be able to show some progress and say, hey, I did get rid of a bunch of stuff. I had the courage to throw some stuff away um, and really live my dream life of having just clutter-free, free of clutter, free of other stuff. 
free of the stress of oh I'm gonna have to move all of this when I move um, and just feeling a lot more light like oh feeling a lot more free about oh yeah if I wanted to move I can just pick up a suitcase or two and go um, like I did in college literally that's all I had in college just one big suitcase um, actually this very suitcase over here um, that was another hand-me-down again it's there's something psychological about having stuff that's like 90% hand-me-downs. It's kind of nice. It's like, oh, great, I never had to pay for this, so it's easier to just let it go. But at the same time, it's like a little bit humiliating because it's like, wow, like all this stuff I didn't choose, I didn't necessarily want. Like I don't necessarily, that's not necessarily my style, um, but my parents got it to me or my uncle just gave it to me as a hand-me-down or my aunt did. And I'm like, well, or like this shirt, I got this working at Columbia like five years ago. I'm like, well, it's still good. I mean, it's still, it's a great shirt. I barely wore it. Um, it's nice and cool for the summer, uh, but it's not necessarily my style. I just feel bad about just throwing it away. So it's really frustrating. I really want to have just clothes that I really like and really, and stuff that I really like at firms. Oh yeah, this was a choice. I really think like I like this. Um, this is who I am. It is a little bit vain maybe, but to have stuff that expresses yourself, um, that reaffirms you, reminds you of, you know, the, the stuff you aspire to. Um, I think those little, little things really do add up. Um, and I think that would help me with self-confidence, which is something I'm sure a lot of people, uh, no matter where you are, uh, how much you've accomplished, I have accomplished a lot. I'm aware of my own accomplishments, but at the same time, just living in this environment um, is a little bit mentally draining. Um, so I think I'll, I'll wrap up the video for now. So uh, in case you just want to skip to the end, um, uh, basically uh, stay tuned for uh, more, more rambling thoughts about how I gain self-confidence, how I declutter and live a minimalist life. Um, and then I'll actually expound more on why minimalism is so good. You know, you consume less, you spend less money, you contribute less to pollution because, you know, buying all this stuff, ha whether it literally has packaging or it's supporting an economy that pushes new products into the hands of consumers um, and, you know, is willing to throw away a lot of products just to sell more stuff. Um, yeah, so uh, wherever you are, peace out.